Autodesk Fusion 360 has the ability to put the center of gravity into any body of a component. As you can see, I placed the, the center of gravity into this model, and there it is. And that really has very limited use. You can measure to it, that's just about it. So if I hover over that, left click and hold, and pick the center of gravity, it tells me the position in reference to the origin of the model. Well, that's kind of useless, so what we need to do to be able to put a point on that. So as you can see, I've done that. i turn off the center of gravity and there's a point right underneath of it. So what I want to do in this video is show you the process of doing this, adding this point. To make this process easy, you want to use copy history. This is a new version of the clipboard which was introduced in a recent version of Windows 10. Now if you don't have Windows 10 and use in Mac OS, you can download a similar program called Copy Clip. I'll leave a link in the video underneath the video. But anyway, once you have updated your Windows 10, you must turn this feature on. You do this by clicking on the Windows symbol and go to Settings, pick on System, go down to Clipboard, and turn on Clipboard History. That is required. Now when you do that, if you hold down your Windows key and touch V, you'll get your clipboard. I'm going to click on the and the two uh, three little dots there and clear all so I have an empty clipboard to start. Again, the Windows V key brings up the clipboard. So let's get started with the process. I'm in an assembly. I would like this point that I create to be related to the actual component. So I'm going to activate that component. Next step is to put in the center of gravity. So I go to inspect, go down to center of gravity, pick on the body, and say OK. And there it is. That is related to that body and that component. The next thing I want to do is create a sketch. The sketch can be on any plane you desire. It doesn't really matter. So what I want you to do next is place a point in free space. Once you've done that, finish your sketch. Now the next thing I want to do is take and move that point to the origin. Now you probably think, well I could have put that point on the origin to start with. But if you did it in your sketch, you'll get a constraint and you'll have to break it. So it's easier this way. Now what you want to do is click on that point and pick Move Copy. You've already have it selected. You want to pick the third, third icon, down, fourth icon down, point to point. We're moving from this point to the origin point. So in that component, expand your origin and pick on the zero, zero, and it snaps over. Say OK. The next step is to capture the coordinates of the center of gravity. You can do this by hitting the measure key and then picking on the center of gravity point. Hold down your left click until it comes available in your list and pick on it. It will give you X, Y, and Z from the origin of the model. So what you want to do is put these on that clipboard we talked about. I'm going to do them in reverse order so they'll be in proper order when I go to my clipboard. So you click on the Z, goes to the clipboard, click on the Y, goes to the zip clipboard, and click on the X to the clipboard. Now if I hold down my Windows V key, you'll see that they are in order. See how? X, Y, and Z. So close that. You have your measure. Now, we're going to go ahead and move that point. So again, pick on the point. Right click, move copy. And you want to use the point to position command. So pick the point, And then it gives you the X, Y, and Z you want to move. Highlight the first one, hold down your Windows V key, pick on the first one, and it plugs it in. Same thing with the Y, which is the second one, and the last one is the Z. And now that point is sitting right on top of the center of gravity. If I turn the center of gravity off, you'll see that point. You can now use that point for a number of operations, and it will stay with the model in that position. Let's just do one. Let's do an offset plane from the bottom, 
parallel to the bottom face, that is through that point. I'll change to object and pick on that point. And you see I have a plane through that point now. There are many things you can do with that point and it will stay with the object. I hope this helps you be a better modeler in Fusion 360.